it's funny how often I'll be sitting on a spot and I'll be catching a fish here or there and, and, and I'm seeing fish on the screen and I'll watch somebody come in and I'll watch them drive around and graph and then they leave. But there's a bunch of fish here. And what is often happening is that's when the fish are down. And a lot of times people don't understand what a fish looks like when he's down on the bottom. Here's what it is. When I see a walleye that's down on the bottom, most of the time it'll just be a little bit of a bump. And now under that bump, I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow. If I've got that, I know that's a walleye down on the bottom. And here's what you gotta understand, especially with walleyes. They don't just move horizontally throughout the day. They move up and down. When they're up, they're feeding heavily. When they're down, you can still talk them into eating, but they're not actively eating. And you can find an area that might have hundreds of fish on it, and when they all go down, if you're not paying attention to that sonar unit, you're gonna drive right past it, and you're gonna think, man, there was nothing there. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an extension of the bottom. It's usually gonna be that same red. It's gonna be that same color scheme, but it's just gonna have that little bit of color difference below it, okay? Now, for me, it's gonna be that yellow on a spot where I'm at today. I'm just gonna see that little bit of yellow below it and I'm gonna know it's fish. But let me give you one more trick because I really believe in this. Well, my number one preset is always on my Lake Master Cartography and on my 2D sonar. I've got this Helix unit set up with my second preset in down imaging. And that allows me to do a quick flip over to down imaging when I think I see a fish. I see that yellow under there. I'm pretty confident that's not just a rock on the bottom. I can click over to that, to that uh, down image and all of a sudden, I get a picture. I know exactly what I'm looking at. And when you can put those two things together, here's what you can do. You can end up finding yourself fishing a spot like I'm gonna fish here today where there's nobody around. I've watched two boats come in here, drive this thing and leave. They don't think there's any fish here. There's a whole bunch of them here. They're just flat down belly on the bottom. We're just gonna have to Lindy rig past them and we'll turn a few of these fish. We'll get them to bite, but we wouldn't get them to bite if we didn't take the time to drive around, really pay attention to that sonar because I'd have left like everybody else. There's a lot of fish right here.